What's going on YouTube? My name is AJ and today we're going to be reviewing three Supreme sunglasses. This is the Supreme Miller model and we're going to review it in black, silver, and gold. These sunglasses released in the spring, summer, 2020 Supreme drop. In this review, we're just gonna talk about how it looks on your face. Is it worth the money if you were to buy it at retail? And is it worth the money if you were to buy this on the resale market? Let's get it. I think I might just, I might just have to start the review with it. With it. Oh, be shining on them. Oh. Nah, I can't can't do it. So these sunglasses come in a white Supreme box that slides out and inside the box is a leather sunglass case with the Supreme box logo on the front and it has a snap enclosure. It comes with a cleaning cloth, a card that speaks to the details of the Swarovski crystals and additional care instructions with the Supreme logo on the front and a little graphic as far as how this protects your eyes from the sun on the back. What's also really cool is that there is a divider in the inside of this case. So the sunglasses will not be moving all over the place when you place the sunglasses back in the case. When you first open the box, it also came with these plastic hinge covers that covered the sides of the sunglasses just to protect it when shipped. And that's what's in the box. So these sunglasses are oval shaped and handmade in Italy as far as the frame goes with anti-reflective coated lenses. I would definitely do a survey or one of those online quizzes to see what fits your face the best. So I know that you can see the lighting in the background, but generally if you're outside and things like that, you can't really see my eyes that well, unless I like go really close to the camera. <laughs> so each pair has set in Swarovski crystals on the front of the sunglasses. And on both sides of the sunglasses, they have a Deboss Supreme logo on each of the temple areas. So on the side of the glasses. And each of these sunglasses are Italian handmade metal frames. And it also has a silicone nose pad, so it won't be hurting your nose that crazy. And the top of the sunglasses are polished metal, and the inside is an unpolished metal. So the sides of the sunglasses also have an unpolished metal look to it. And the silver pair is a standard silver. The gold pair is a standard gold. And the black pair, it looks like it's kind of a matte black, but I understand why they didn't make the sides of the sunglasses polished because the Swarovski crystals shine a lot more due to the fact that they're not polished on the sides. As far as the resale market goes, these are well below the retail price on StockX. So the silver pair came in at $131. The gold pair also came in at $131. But the black pair came in at $185. So I'm thinking that this black pair is probably the most popular amongst the Supreme community or just anyone that's interested in these sunglasses. And it does make sense because these are a generic black color, but they really pop and shimmer when you go up close and look at it in person. And I don't know if the camera really does it justice on how much these sunglasses really shine or, you know, glimmer. But I do understand, like I said earlier, how these are the most popular because they're not as flashy as the gold or the silver pair of sunglasses. So my first impressions of these sunglasses is that they are extremely flashy, but elegant at the same time. And I know that it's not the most formal looking sunglass, but I think these sunglasses are a great way to make your outfit pop with an accessory that is really subtle, but at the same time, a little flashy, especially this black pair. These might be my favorite out of the three. Leave a comment below. What do you guys think is your favorite pair amongst these three colors? But I'm not gonna lie, during the summertime and everything else, I think I might be wearing the black pair in the fall winter when I wanted a more muter tone and the weather is a little colder. I might wear these gold pairs in the summertime or the springtime, just cause it kind of goes along with the warmth and a lot more summertime outfits. And I think the silver pair is also the second most versatile because it's not as crazy as the gold, but it's not as basic as the black colorway. So if I were to suggest anyone to get a color, I would suggest either the black colorway or this silver colorway. But if you wanna be a little more on the flashy side, just get the gold colorway, that's the way to go. Um, but either way, all three of these colorways are extremely elegant and flashy, but the round oval shape of these sunglasses are definitely on the casual side. So if you're unsure about how these sunglasses would fit on your face, I would just suggest going to your local eyewear store and trying on some round frames, some square frames. And if the round frames don't really fit your face that well, 
then you may have to look at another pair of sunglasses. But nonetheless, if you are in the market for an oval shaped sunglass, this is the one for you. And it's probably one of the best hype purchases. This is definitely one of the best Supreme purchases for under $200. Another thought that I had about these glasses is that even though the Swarovski crystals are not diamonds, these are still a nice touch. For those who don't know, Swarovski crystals are essentially glass and not typically any precious stone or anything else, but no one's really gonna know. This is more of a fashion piece of eyewear. And my final thought was that these sunglasses are exceptional in quality. Being handmade in Italy, you could tell that the frames are definitely durable. The Swarovski crystals, just the way that they're set, they don't look cheap. So as far as fit and styling, these sunglasses came in one size only. And I would say that it's not oversized necessarily, but it is a large oval shape that is a little narrow as far as the temple areas go. These sunglasses always squeeze my face a lot because I have a large temple area. It is a little narrow. So initially I bought these sunglasses in the silver colorway off Supreme Direct and the other two I actually got off StockX or other resellers. I would say that I had a hard time picking which one I really wanted, but I did go with silver. So after getting the silver version, I eventually just bought the other two. And I think my favorite pair is probably the black pair, just because I could wear these in a lot more places than I could wear the gold and the silver ones. And these still have the same effect where they're extremely subtle, but when you look up close, and especially in the sunlight, say in like a summer day or when the sun is out, these really pop. What's really awesome about these sunglasses too is that they're not only super casual, I've worn these with formal outfits and they're just a nice touch. Even if you were to wear a formal outfit, you see a lot of people out there wearing Ray-Bans or other designer sunglasses. So I think this is a great way to also make your formal fits pop a little bit more and your casual fits a little bit more cool as well. So as far as the pros go, I think that these sunglasses are an exceptional value for the price point, even on the resale market because you can't get these on Supreme Direct anymore. So these sunglasses retailed at $198 and they're well under $200 for specific colorways. And another pro of these sunglasses for some people would be they're really flashy and they get a lot of oohs and ahs. So if you're the kind of person that likes that kind of thing, whenever I wear these, a lot of people are like, oh, could I try them on? Or, you know, they want to see how they look on their phone and they put it in selfie mode or they, you know, it's just, it's a really interesting pair of sunglasses that you don't really see that much. And I think Supreme really knocked it out the park with this one. But I would say that these sunglasses also have some downs to it. So the first con would be that it does get a little uncomfortable after a while. Granted, I have a pretty large face and my temple area is <laughs> is quite large. So if you have more of a narrow and slim face, then maybe these sunglasses will fit you more comfortably than they do my face. Uh, but that's just me, you know, speaking as a consumer. And thankfully these don't look too weird on my face. Like I don't look like a giant fly or like spider with the super crazy eyes and everything. And I guess another con would be that these are not 100% polarized. They just have some anti-glare. So if you are looking for a polarized pair of sunglasses, I would try to look elsewhere. And this is kind of controversial. This last con is that the Supreme logo is extremely small. So if that's something that you care about, you may still like these sunglasses, but the Supreme logo is really faint. So I don't think that's really a big deal. I like to wear a lot of Supreme merchandise that isn't just the box logo. Yeah, I, th I think the only thing that I own box logo wise is like a camp hat. But nonetheless, if you like the box logo a lot, unfortunately, there is no box logo on this pair of sunglasses, but there is a box logo on the box itself. Bruh. I'm just kidding, no. But these are dope sunglasses. And that's all the cons that I had with these sunglasses. They don't look cheap at all. They're priced relatively well and it has a great value. And I think the aesthetic is cool and it works within a lot of looks and for a lot of occasions. So my final verdict is that these are a great pair of sunglasses that have greatly reduced in price. It's really rare to find a Supreme item that's selling lower than the retail price. But granted, this is eyewear and doesn't have too much hype behind it. And like I said earlier, these could be your everyday pair of sunglasses, especially the black pair. They're not a Wayfair, they're oval shaped and everything else. But if you're looking for a pair of oval shaped sunglasses that are reasonably priced and great quality, I think the Supreme Miller sunglasses are a great choice. Once again, my name's... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I look like a fly right now. Once again, my name's AJ. Thank you guys for watching. What pair did you guys like the best? Feel free to hit that like button. If you aren't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video. Let go. Peace.